Hey, what's up you guys? It's Michelle C. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a desk tour or what's on my desk because I'll also be showing you what's in these drawers. It's kind of messy, kind of not my best organization, but I try to keep my desk pretty clean and simple on the top. I have been in school for the past four years in university, so it's very much structured to what I use every single day because I do live at home still. So this is what I've been working off of for those four years and also throughout high school. It's changed a bit, but it's the same kind of organization. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and gain some inspo. I'll try to link stuff below, but if I don't have it, it's because I can't find it or they're from stores like TJ Maxx or Marshalls where I find a lot of things very, very often. Before we jump into the details, I want to say that my desk chair is from Ikea and it's no longer available, at least in the US, and my desk actual desk is also from Ikea as you can tell by the Alex style drawers. They're just two separate drawer sets with actual tabletop from Ikea that's also sold separately. So I kind of in a way created this. Here I have my 2017 MacBook Pro. I'm pretty sure it's the one with a touch bar and I have it on top of this stand I got on Amazon because during times of the lockdown I was going insane with my neck being super strained and I just now keep it as my second computer or my portable computer you could say. On top right here I usually keep this energetic brand LED light and it just clasps on to the book when you're reading it at night. It's pretty bright if you're sleeping next to someone. I do not so it does the job for me. On top of that, I have my current read, which is One Day in December by Josie Silver. And so far, I'm about 35% in, and I love it. I also keep this book sleeve by Bakuzi. You can find her on Etsy, and I think her website is the same thing, also on Instagram, but I take pride and joy in taking care of my books. So... A book sleeve is definitely key. I take this on the go everywhere. Then I also have this journal. I got this at Staples. It was super, super cheap and it is actually like a bullet journal because it has dotted paper and I normally try to do that when I have time. This is one of the pages. It is more of an art form or expression to me than it is an actual planner. Last but not least on that stack under my laptop is this journal that says cuidando de ti misma meaning taking care of yourself in Spanish and it's just honestly that. This is one of the pages and it just says what have you learned about this practice, what are the steps you could do to get there, how what are today's intentions? Behind there, there is a letter M that looks really, really cute when my laptop is in here, but it normally just stays in front of it, to be honest. I have little Funko Pops with Zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack, and Oogie Boogie because it was from last year's Christmas advent calendar, and they're my absolute favorite things in the world. This is my iMac. There are the new colorful releases. It is actually blue, and I love that the weird bezel around the screen is white. I also added one of those webcam covers because since it's literally looking in my room all day, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I actually just have the keyboard and the Magic Mouse from Apple. Have not upgraded anything. I don't think I want the Apple trackpad yet. But I recently got Final Cut Pro because I finally got one of these. And I don't think you guys realize that despite it seeming like I have everything Apple, I promise I'm not bragging and they're just the things that I've wanted my whole entire life. But yes, I love this machine. Something I do want to talk about is this mouse pad. It is the same material that the laptop holder was made out of and it is the same color and everything. It's kind of like this aluminum and then the back is just a faux leather, I guess you could say. And I got this from Amazon. I like it because it's aesthetic and I do use it for its function, but would I recommend it if you want a good, good mouse pad? Probably not. Next to that, I keep this coaster because I like having drinks at my desk at all times. It's just a marbled one from TJ Maxx as well a long time ago and I have these scattered all around my room. Moving to this corner of my desk, I have my iPhone and then it is being held by another marble, like my coaster material phone thing that actually has a hole so you could charge your phone while it stands. 
That is recently from Home Goods. This desk lamp I actually got from Target. I'm pretty sure they still sell these despite me getting this one about four years ago. It is in a mint blue green, I guess you could say. And I just keep my AirPods Pro, my other AirPods, and that is an actual wireless charger for my phone that I don't use and I don't recommend because it charges really slow. And then I have a whole bunch of pens, nothing interesting. And here is Jack again because he's my favorite. I've said that a billion times. And I got him from Disneyland. He's actually a pen. There is a Piplup pen somewhere in there that recently came with Diamond and Pearl. And there is an Eeyore pen because she is one of my favorite Disney characters as well. Down here, I normally always keep my Apple Watch charging, which is what's plugged in. And I also have my iPhone charger because it's next to my iPhone holder and I just use the time that I'm on my laptop to charge my phone usually. Then I have my iPad Pro, which sometimes gets displayed next to my other computer as a third screen. And then I have a planner and a whole bunch of tech and hard drives that are not needed. If you hear any bouncing, it is my neighbor because I live in an apartment complex and I do not own a home. Let that be a reminder and motivation for me to buy a home one day. Anyways, Next drawer, I have this folder that just has lined paper, and it's in a folder because it's what I used to take to school. More lined paper and testing booklets from my college career that we didn't use because we went remote. In this next drawer, I have printer paper, and I have flashcards, and under here I have a... Pokemon Snap poster, which is the cutest thing in the world, also with a pre-order at GameStop. And I also keep this huge, huge booklet from Gus and J Balvin's collection. This came with a purchase that my BF made, and it's just the coolest thing in the world. Lastly, on this side, we get to this huge, junky drawer that has small whiteboards, clipboards, calculators, my eye clicker for college like I'm pretty sure yeah this is this is the interesting things in here and then I'm pretty sure there's a textbook under there and in this is my super 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 old laptop moving on to the first drawer of the other side I have a whole bunch of folders with important stuff I have journals that I just have for whenever I need to jot something down in a journal form I have sticky notes one that actually has YouTube plans I have this which has blue light glasses, these which are my Desi and Key Australia blue light glasses, I have this cute notepad, this is from Daiso, and I am a Disney fan as you could tell. I also have this Hello Kitty notepad which was a gift a really long time ago and I just don't like to use it because of that. In case you cared about the blue light glasses, they just are really subtle aerial touches. I think it says aerial somewhere, but yes, this is what they look like. These glasses are also from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Either one, they were a gift, and I love them. I know this next drawer might look like hell to some people, but I am obsessed with sticky notes and I wanna get. We have little cute stuff like this that is from Daiso, and then I have more things from Daiso like this. We have stuff from being a first gen at UCSD and whiteout, sharpeners, everything you may need. Clearly these drawers keep getting better because they just keep getting messier, but I have mechanical pencils, pens in the back, the pilot pens are my absolute favorite, then I have pencil pouches because I like to journal on the go and stuff, and then there's like pencils that I've had since elementary. I know, we have mini staplers, this office desk thing that's ugly but I somehow ended up with it from high school. It was in my locker. I don't know how to explain things like this. This is what I like to call an I am crafty drawer. There is matte acrylic paint, Expo marker eraser, Justin Bieber duct tape from back in the day, whole bunch of tubs of glitter, a lot of Elmer's glue, clearly. Scissors and Expo markers, colorful pilot pens, and this is not my only crafting drawer. I have a whole other drawer outside of my bedroom. For the crafts I do, it's not that much. These are super cool erasable highlighters, by the way. 
Got these at World Market. You can get them at Barnes and Nobles as well. We have a Polaroid book with pictures of my dog. Do you need a sketchbook? I also have a sketchbook and I have my university visual arts sketchbook as well here. I don't even know what to show you. There was nothing in here. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys later.